tall, tall fans, man. Man, 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 man. You guys, the tall army, rather, you guys are relentless, man. And I kept on seeing um, Fibonacci, Fibonacci, Fibonacci sequence. And I was like, what is this? I was like, is this some like tall, like secret society word that now because we've done a couple reactions, maybe we're in the club now? So I saw it and I, I spoke to Charles. I was like, what is this, bro? And then obviously I read a couple of the comments and you guys were like, oh, this is the sequence that um, it's a math. I, I don't even understand it. So I'm actually going to try and watch this video here and um, see what I can get from it. All I know that is maths involved and I hate maths. So maths and music together is like um, kissing the hottest girl at school. But she's got bad breath. It's like, oh, no. But I want to, but oh, oh, but it smells so bad. But yeah, that's that's what it feels like to me. So yeah, um, yeah, let's get into it, man. You know, when you write something, like say if you have an idea, if you're just sitting around, you're like, I have a thought. Do you just sit down and do you go, okay, this is a tool song, this is a perfect circle song, this is a pussifer song? Does it just like? No, because what I'm what I'm writing to is is the music that I'm hearing from those people. So that's all you write to. I write to the music because that way it's a unique, it's a unique island situation. Mm. Those those things are gonna. Whenever I've tried to write, I've had some poetry sitting over here that I want to write, mm -hmm. and I tried to uh, force it onto a song for any of those projects. It doesn't work. Yeah, I, I mean, as a composer's way, I get that a lot when you try to come in with a pre like pre conceived notion that you're gonna write this particular song, and then when the music comes, it's like it doesn't even, it doesn't even co exist with each other it's just like yeah so you need to hear the song i need, I need to hear the finished thing you know f f almost finished thing and then put lyrics to it yeah mm. yeah get the get the melodies in place get the rhythms as if i'm an instrument and is that how you guys did that fibonacci song yeah yeah wow yeah, yeah that was a really unique undertaking how what what was the process behind that like did you did you say hey i know they're probably going to get into it a bit more but i'm just like just thinking about it logically like using math to make music is probably for me the most like backwards thing you could ever do it's like music is such a uh, a free-flowing thing you know it's a space of inspiration not calculation so it seems so backwards so i'm interested to see where it goes and i don't even know what song it was that the the sequence was in that i've listened to but i need to probably go back for people who don't know what the fuck we're talking about the fibonacci sequence is a very unique mathematical sequence that appears in nature it's uh it's in fractals it's in sunflowers if you look at like the pattern of sunflower seeds if you look at nautilus shells and what it is it's uh an expanding fractal sort of a mathematical equation i don't know if i'm saying it correctly but it's like the first step is zero and then there's one and then there's one one, one two one, three one, five two eight. two plus th yeah and right. it just keeps going on so but that's the that's the fibonacci number like the right. whole number like actual number sequence there's there's the uh phi ratio one right. point one point six one eight anything multiplied by the one point six one eight that that or not not multiplied the relationship uh the difference uh the difference in the length from uh this finger to this finger as opposed to this finger to that finger those those knuckles uh in your digits those are all in that in that relationship of one point six one eight the phi relationship so that the fractals as it's as it's growing that progression is uh is that is that ratio and then the number breakdown is as you said it's one one two just a quick ignorant question here as as i'm getting into this um th th this whole thing could it not just be like do you think we're going too deep do you think they're going too deep on it like you okay we're going to use this sequence to create a song and now everyone's like this is the greatest song ever do you think it's a bit too deep you know part of me is just like oh but you could you could say uh, we made a song you know using the the numbers of like the proportions of um kim kardashian's face the ratio of her face so it's now the perfect so i don't know do you know what i mean i don't know if i'm explaining myself well but can't we just use math the mathematic you know uh the mathematic sums from anything and then create a song like i don't know i'm still i still need to get into this a bit deeper i'm not even i'm just at the top of the surface man five eight thirteen 
Yeah, so like so one like, plus one is two, two right. plus one is three, three plus two is five, right. five plus three is eight, and it's like everything you you count, you add what came before it. And you got a spiral uh, picture like of a Giza plateau showing you the. Mm. Well, also facial structure, which is really fascinating. Yeah. There's something about human facial structure that uses the Fibonacci sequence, and I read something where about why people recognize plastic surgery while it disturbs them. Boom. Yeah, it's like, what's going on with the sequence? Like, the sequence is off. So my friend... Uh, yeah, here it is. Yeah, my friend. The Fibonacci relationships of the human head. And yeah. it, it's all... Uh, I had a friend who said, you know how when you know a, ca you know, a, a, a family has had a child who has Down syndrome, right? There's, there's a, there, it, does, it, it crosses racial divides. It just, you can tell. This that, that is true. That's something that me and Charles always, or well, not always, like we always talk about it, but no, that's something that we have spoken about, like when there is kids with down syndrome you kind of just know when you look at the facial features for some reason but you can never quite figure out why that is so that's quite interesting this family has had that that child has down syndrome there's mm -hmm. a look that goes along with it and he said it's the same look you know not the same look but like it's the same recognition of people who have had uh facial plastic surgery mm. you recognize you're not fooling anybody you right. are you've done a thing that's recognizable universally as wrong something's wrong with your face something isn't there's an off yeah it's off yeah but i thought it was funny that he was actually connecting it to down no disrespect to people with down syndrome but um yeah i know what you're saying yeah, yeah but but it is like when you see someone with a disease like oh there's clearly an error here in the code yes yeah and, and the and the facial reconstruct like the you know, plastic surgery because i'm just oh shit I, i'm getting older yeah. This will fool them. Well, the nose thing, too, is weird. Like when someone has a uniquely small nose and their mm -hmm. face, you know, they might have like a long, like Ari Shafir type face, but then they have this like shrunken down nose. You're like, hey. Yeah. Like this seems fucked. Right. This doesn't, there's a ratio that's supposed to exist and yeah. it doesn't exist. Not, Why your lips? But, you know. Is, it, is, okay. Again, I think I can hear the tall army or well, part of the army saying, you're just too dumb to understand this, blah, 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 blah. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm just not. Maybe this is just, a, you know, a different strat stratosphere in terms of, like, musicianship using uh, a, uh, the Fibonacci sequence to, to create music. Um, it's a very, it's, it, it's an understandable concept. I still don't get it. I don't get the point of it. I don't get the, the, um, it's, it's just, okay. You know, okay, they used some math. You know, and then I know people can be like, what? You, you just use some math. You didn't just use some math. Um, this is, this is God's creation. You know, I can hear, I can hear everyone saying that in the comments because I, I don't know, I kind of, I can kind of feel certain people's energy. It's like, yeah, I get it. Like, it's incredible to, to use maths and stuff like that in, in your songs. But I think for me, just on a personal taste, like, I would prefer not to see what is behind the hood, you know, of a car. I just want to drive it. I don't want to. I don't want to lose the magic of it. You know, like the Wizard of Oz. I don't want to pull back the veil and know what's going on. I just kind of want to be mesmerized by the experience and by the music, and you know, wondering how the hell did they create that? I guess, um, you know, Maynard talking about the 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 sequence is kind of just like obviously lifting the veil and saying, "Yo, we've used perfect mathematics to create a a song." Here, listen, and it's like. It doesn't add or subtract anything for me. It's still the same as what it was. So, yeah, that's pretty interesting. You guys let me know what you think about the whole sequence. Let me know if I've interpreted it wrong. I've only watched one video on it. Um, so maybe I need to dig deeper, delve deeper. Let me know if I do need to dig, dig deeper, you know. But as it stands right now, my opinion, my unfully formed opinion. Um, yeah, it's, I mean... I mean, I thought it was going to be some, like, secret society type thing, man. I th you guys, man, had me fooled. I was like, what is this? Fabernot? I was like, man, we're in. I was like, Charles, we're in. And, no, yeah, it was just, but, yeah, um, it is what it is. Um, again, as I always say, if you guys got this far, really appreciate you watching this far. Leave me some suggestions of other stuff you want us to have a look at or we can look at, you know. I want to broaden my horizons. So, um, yeah, thank you for watching. See you next one. Peace.